Hello and welcome to the supramolecular chemistry class. Your subject code is 14CH3007 and I have given as 404. We have already seen the metal organic frameworks, guest properties, etc. And in this uh, section we are going to see about coordination polymers. It's, it's also a type of supramolecular uh, polymers or the coordination polymers. So what do you mean by a coordination polymer? A coordination polymer is an inorganic or organometallic polymer structure containing metal cation centers linked by the ligands. As we have seen in metal organic frameworks, these uh, inorganic or organometallic polymeric structures, they are formed from metal cations and organic ligands. These coordination polymer it's a type of coordination compound but with repeating coordination entities it is not just a simple coordination compound but it is a repeating coordination entities extending to one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional structures so they find their applications in very many fields as organic and inorganic chemistry biochemistry material sciences electrochemistry even in pharmacological pharmacology they have many potential applications so metals when they combine with appropriate choice of ligands can be used to con construct complexes discrete structures and even infinite structures that's what i told you about a one dimensional two dimensional three dimensional structures they can so the use of a divergent metal centers with a divergent ligand gives a polymeric products generally with a bidentate ligand and uh, a metal cation with a valency of two they extend to form a polymeric material so they can give one two and three dimensional polymers so palladium square that two dimensional network is made by utilizing axially protected octahedral cobalt ion with four four biperidine and a three dimensional network using naked octahedral ag plus ion by bridging the pyrazine so you can see here between these three structures a b and c this is a zero dimensional and it forms a two dimensional polymers and then we have a three dimensional infinite three dimensional network structures there are some guests included inside how it is just all the three are ditopic four four biperidine or ligand pyrazine these ligands are rigid and they are ditopic but at the same time the metal ions palladium cobalt and silver their coordination linkages differ due to that you can get a zero dimensional square and a two dimensional and a three dimensional structures finally what i mean by coordination polymers infinite arrays of metal ions connected by bridging ligands so these metal ions they are connected by bridging ligands or they are called the organic linkers so we can have n number of structures you can see here the one dimensional structure the ligand and the metal go in a straight line it is a one dimensional structure and you can have um, metal and uh, ligand for a uh, two dimensional structures and then you can have metal and ligand for three dimensional and then for two dimensions with six coordinated sides and two dimension with three coordinated sides these are some of the examples for that some pictorial representations of how the coordination polymers are formed how these coordination polymers are synthesized so they are often prepared by self-assembly involving crystallization of a metal salt with a ligand so it, it is just a story between a ligand and a metal that's it very simple a ligand and metal how they are so they generally include a solvent layering that means slow diffusion method you keep the metal ligand after synthesis you keep it and you allow it for a slow diffusion by with help of another solvent you get a solvent layering or slow diffusion method so the next one is slow evaporation so you keep aside for a long time it slowly evaporates and you get a crystal and then by slow cooling also you get this type of coordination polymers because the main method of characterization of coordination polymers is x-ray crystallography single crystal xrd 
growing the crystal of sufficient size with good quality is very very important to analyze its uh, polymeric nature so i told that it is a story between a metal and a ligand so generally between a metal and a ligand there exists a bond which is a coordinate bond apart from that what are all the responsible factors or the intermolecular forces between the metal and ligand in a coordination polymers so there are all the various supramolecular structures you can see all these things van der waals forces pi pi interaction hydrogen bonding pi bonds by polarized bonds stabilization of pi bonds by polarized bonds in addition the coordination bond formed between the metal and the ligand though these intramolecular forces are very weak they are strong enough to form a polymer of two dimensional or three dimensional structure but the length of the structure depends upon these intramolecular forces they are equilibrium so they are distance and they are comparable to the covalent bonds ligands and metals i told you ligand what do you mean by a ligand it is an atom or a group of atoms they formally donate a lone pair of electrons to a metal cation and they form a coordination complex for example if you take pyridine a heteroatom nitrogen is there it has a lone pair of electrons in it and it can donate a lone pair of electron and that lone pair of electron is taken by a metal and they form a complex coordination complex so these polymers are formed when a ligand has the ability to form multiple coordination bonds and act as a bridge between the multiple metal centers so there may be many metal centers and these ligands can coordinate with all these metal centers to give beautiful two dimensional three dimensional polymeric structures so this polydentate ligands so unidentate means it has only one bidentate means two heteroatoms tridentate three heteroatoms but more than that we call it as a polydentate so these ligands connect multiple metal centers together that an infinite array is formed and also multiple bonds to the same metal and this process is called as chelation but monodentate ligands for example pyridine they are referred as terminal because they do not offer a place for network to continue when you have two like bipyridine or pyrazine when you have two nitrogen atoms and a divalent metal ion they can form a polymeric structures but if it is only one like the case of pyridine it is only one and nitrogen and it is called as terminal referred as terminal because they do not offer for the network to continue often coordination polymers will consist of combination of poly and monodentate bridging bridging chelating and terminal ligands next is the metal centers so they are often called as the nodes or the hubs bound to a specific number of linkers that is the organic molecules at a well defined angles because pyrazine has different structure bipyridine is different structure pyridine is different structure so their angles also differ bond angles also differ so the number of linkers bound to a node is known as the coordination number along which which along with the angles they are held determines the dimensionality of the structure whether it may be one or two or three dimensional structure so the coordination number and the coordination geometry of the metal center is determined by the non uniform distribution of the electron density around it and in general the coordination number increases with the cation size so when the cation size increases the coordination number increases let's see that later so in the case of we have different metals like transition metal lanthanides alkali metals alkali earth metals this alkali metals and alkali earth metals exist as stable cations and readily form cations with stable valence shell giving them different type of coordination behavior than the lanthanides and the transition metals this alkali and alkaline earth metals for an example three coordination polymers of different dimensionality all three were made by using the same ligand see we have the same ligand this is the ligand so this ligand is 4,5 dihydroxy benzene 1,3 disulfonate it's denoted by L so this ligands form different structures with different metal cations for example these this metal ligand I mean this ligand 
forms different structures with the group 2 metals alone for example with calcium with strontium with barium you can see here as i told before the size decreases from calcium to barium calcium is bigger strontium is medium and barium is small you can see here in these three cases the structures are different so the same ligand it reacts with different metal ions of the same group because of the cations size varies you get different structures and they have different coordination number and different coordination geometry well we have seen about the coordination polymers in this set of slides with how they form uh, polymer is formed between a metal and a ligand so there are a number of journals and uh, books for you to follow thank you and best wishes